Welcome to the Time Crunched Runner Strength Guide. I'm gonna show you everything you need if you just want the bare necessities to avoid like crashing and burning. I've done this for many years. A lot of our athletes from pros um, to beginners do some basic version of this. We have a full routine online and each of these exercises, if you click on the link, has a detailed description and video that's much longer and more in depth. I'm gonna try to keep this one short and just show very brief snippets. Okay, so pre-run, uh, what do you do? First thing you do, you get up, you walk around a little bit, then you snap on this band that you can get anywhere online or in Target or something. And you start with 10 side to side. Uh, keep good posture, focus on engagement of those glutes. Um, really get your hips strong in the process of also loosening you up. Do 10 each direction. Um, then 10 forward and back. Um, this looks like an awkward music video right now, but we're making it happen. And then to the rear, like I'm a very poor moonwalker that has hemorrhoids. Um, and so that gets you nice and activated. And then the next is kind of the bread and butter one that's a key part of both before and after runs, which is leg swings. So 10 side to side, and then 10 forward and back. Um, obviously, I'm not that poor at counting. I'm just trying to keep it relatively short. Um, this really opens up your hips, keeps your range of motion really good. Um, and then the final thing we do to, to get ready to run are uh, high knees. So you just do them for five seconds. Um, you can move a little bit farther than I am or farther forward. Um, really gets you feeling activated, neuromuscularly primed, ready to go. And then what do we do? We go run, which we're going to do right now. We're running around in a circle. Addy, come here. Uh, you can sometimes just come back and a magical dog appears. Hey, Addy. And then the magical dog leaves. This is all live and on the spot, so we're just doing it. Okay, so you finish your run, you're spent, you went really fast, like I just did. Whew. A little bit, a little bit exhausted. Uh, from that right there. Um, so the first thing you do when you finish is open up those hips again. You've done a, a confined motion for a while. Go back to those leg swings, 10 side to side, 10 forward and back, just really loose. You're not like trying to be a rock cat here. Um, I've done these for many years, so I've, I have pretty good uh, mobility there, if I do say so myself. Um, and then on the workout days, when it's noted, you do the magic mountain legs routine. We've seen this routine done by professional runners all over the world. Uh, beginner runners, it's one of those things that really works to get the core of what we're working with with leg strength. So you start with uh, 10 to 20 rear, lun rear lunges, one leg at a time, um, and you just kind of balance on that leg with good posture, um, do those. Um, and then the magic exercise of all, this was MTV Cribs, where the magic happened, which is the single leg step up. These are more concentric uh, motions after that, but a little bit more eccentric. Um, so 50 is the sweet spot for me. Uh, many on the team go up to 100, including a lot of top pros. I can't do that because I am not a masochist. Um, so focusing that effort on that one leg. So that's the core work, core strength work that you'll do four times a week. Then I'm also a really big fan of sh light stretching for athletes that might be a little bit inflexible like me. Um, just a few basic ones. All of these are short holds for me. They're like five to 10 seconds. The science on long stretching isn't great, but the science on short stretching is fine. And I find that it does prevent my injuries. So for me, hamstring done just like this, nice and relaxed, focusing on the lower hamstring to avoid high hamstring tightness or um, you know pulling that, that um, tendon off a little bit. Uh, then butterfly stretch and Oh my gosh, this is a little bit of an awkward angle. Um, we're having a moment right now as I do this one, apparently. Um, and then the next is the uh, the quad stretch. So back, and then you get the dog coming back in, uh, who still, still does not nearly love me enough. Perhaps this is a saga of a dog and a boy becoming more distant. Um, so you're stretching the, the uh, quad all the way up through the hip flexor. And good, well perhaps we're, no, we were on good terms and then no longer. What a sad story. Um, and so then the quad, and for me, um, light calf, and you can even add things like um, eccentric calf drops right here, but time crunch runners ain't got no time for that. Um, so those are the basics. Then we just add something really simple. If I had a pull-up bar right now, I would do like a really cool Rocky montage on my pull-up bar. That's kind of my favorite thing. Um, but you can also just hop down and do some push-ups. You don't need to do much of this. Just one set of each um, can really go a long way. I like to do those right after. And that is it. That is all you need to do to support long-term speed development, long-term health. Obviously, I wish you would work with a strength coach or do our all-in-one strength work uh, cheat sheet that we have online. But this one is kind of what I do because I 
and I have to confess this, am the laziest runner of all time, outside of the time I'm running. Otherwise, I just make divots in the couch. So that basic uh, routine that we have links to online will accomplish everything you need. So, Addie, come here. Bring your stick. Addie, come. Oh, she's coming. Are we back in good terms? Yeah, we are. What a way to end the video with a boy and his dog finding love and a big old stick yet again. You guys are amazing. Listen to the Summer Golf Play podcast where my wife Megan and I go in much greater detail on all of this. Hey, Megan, say hi. Woo! Woo! Bye!